How's it going, guys? I mean, it's a it's an awesome feeling. Um, you know, we're just hoping that he's getting his rest and his recovery, and uh, as a team, we're we're extremely happy. Not yet, not yet. I know some guys were are, you know we're chomping at the bit to go see him, um, but you know against doctor's orders, just making sure that he's like I said, getting his rest and recovery, and taking it slow, and um, obviously just trying to trying to get back to to being himself. So we'll. We'll take all the time that we need, but um, hope he knows the guys are ready to see him. Josh, can you go back to 2019 and remember your first playoff game against Houston and where you've come to now? And is there anything that you've kind of learned along the way about the process of this week and this game? Yeah, I mean, it's it's one one week season uh, from here on out. It's win or go home. We understand that. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, come Sunday, it's the only thing that matters is scoring more points than the other team. So. Um, you know, trying to have a good week of practice, putting our, our best foot forward, making sure that we're holding ourselves to our own standard. Um, you know, and obviously taking it day by day, but um, you know, everything that we're doing is is in hopes to to win on Sunday. They ultimately scoring more points than the other team is the thing that matters most. When, when you came into this season, the expectations were so high in terms of preseason Super Bowl favorites and and all of that. And I'm just wondering, was there any sort of impact on the team knowing that those expectations were set as high as they were? No, but we don't have any feelings from the outside. You know, as a team internally, um, you know, the goals that we wanted to accomplish are still in front of us. We have a chance to to do we, what we set out to at the beginning of the year. Um, but it all starts Sunday and starts, starts this week. So, uh, again, just trying to have a good week of practice, trying to stick to our routine. Um, but again, it's, it's the biggest game of our season. It's the next one, and um, we understand the implications uh, of the playoffs. This is everything that we wanted. Obviously, getting into the playoffs gives us a chance to win the Super Bowl, and uh, that's our that's our main goal. But like I said, right now, it's it's Sunday, 1 o'clock. With all the emotions out of the way, with most of the emotions out of the way after Sunday, with DeMar home, and I know the focus still is on him getting better, but do you feel, and having had a, a few days of a break, do you feel it's allowed the team to have an emotional reset to a certain extent? You could put some of that behind you and look forward now forward. Um, I, I think so. Um, you know, coach, coach gave us the last couple of days um, off, and just I think that was good for guys to kind of get away and, and, like you said, mentally reset. Um, at the same time, you know. Damar hasn't left our minds, and we're still praying for him. And you know, we want to continue to see him um, get better each and every day. Um, but again, this team's got a lot of love for each other. We, when we go on that field, we play for each other. So uh, we're going to need to do that come Sunday. This is your seventh playoff game, I think, and you seem to approach these uh, like with a pretty calm attitude. Same with the primetime games, Thanksgiving. You know what? Do you think uh, perspective do you have that besides maybe throwing up that allows you to? Have a let it rip attitude. Um, you know, it, we know that it. You know, if we don't win, we go home. So, um, just trying to do everything in my power, uh, preparation, preparation wise, um, and then come game time, doing what's asked of me, and just trying to put my myself and my teammates in good positions to succeed, and um, trying to be an extension of Coach Dorsey, and you know, run the play as he calls it, and uh, lead this offense to score points, and that's that's all I can. That's all I really can do is uh, do my job, and um, you know everybody on the field trusting each other, and uh, just trying to trying to lead guys that way as well. Kind of along those lines. Side of the ball, but just seeing like a high back out there today. What, what's that do for the team? Just kind of. Yeah, guy. I mean, he, he's one of our captains for a reason. Uh, we love the guy. Um, you know, I've gotten to know him quite well, so he's been here as long as I've been here, and um, just to know. The emotions that he went through early in the season, and to to get back out here and, and start practicing, and um, you know now we got to do do our job and and uh, do everything we can to allow him to come back. So, speaking of the devil, there he is, Micah. Hi. Talking about you. Hey, why, do you think, um, why do you think Miami's blitz is so effective? They, they're one of the heaviest blitz teams in the league. But what specifically makes them so good at it? Yeah, I mean, I think they, they bring a variety of pressures. Um, and I think within their pressures, um, you know, their D-line does a good job of 
especially in the interior. They rush, try to cover up your, your guards and your tackles, and then they drop out and they try to take away some of the inside stuff and the quick game, which is typically what teams are trying to do. I think they reroute really well um, when you get to a screen check. So again, you got you to gotta go in with a really good uh, plan to whether it's blocking it up or getting the ball out quick. Um, and then, you know, when they get their opportunities on the quarterback, they're, they're stripping the ball and allowing themselves to, to recover it and uh, give them their offense a, a short field. So, again, just being smart with the football, holding on to the football. Um, you know, obviously we want to score on every single drive, but I think the main, the main focus is, is ball security and trying to end every drive in a kick. Maybe tweaking the Dolphins in a way after the last game on TV by repeating the do you wish it was colder comment. And might there be a rivalry brewing between these two? A, 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 a hotter rivalry. Well, I mean, it's, yeah, there, we're, we're division rivals. Um, obviously, we've seen each other twice. We've split one and one. Um, we've, they've, they've played really well. We've played. Uh, uh, really well, and it's two teams coming in. It's the playoffs, so it's no hold bar. Anything, anything goes. And again, it's it's all about trying to win a game, and um, you know that's all we're trying to do. It's colder. We'll see. I was going to ask you just along the lines of preparation again. I'm thinking back to your playoff debut uh, down in Houston. How have you evolved since then? And coach had said when he talked to us earlier that he calls on internal leadership. You know, to help maybe some of the younger players on this team. Is that a message maybe that you can share with uh, some of the players for whom this is their first? Yeah, um, obviously that first playoff game, um, you know, year two, still pretty young in this league. Um, still really didn't have my feet all the way wet and uh, just understanding the emotions of that game. I felt like I pressed a little bit throughout that game. So to be able to convey that to, to my teammates, some of the, the younger guys or the rookies on this team that haven't been in a playoff game before, um, just letting them know, like, hey, we, let's take our time. We don't have to do anything special. We just got to go out there and, and do our job. And I think that was probably my main takeaway from that, that first playoff game, maybe feeling like I tried to do too much. So um, staying within within the system, trusting the 10 guys on the field with me. Evan Singletary throughout the year, but the last couple of weeks it's been pretty close to an even split with James. Just what do you think the impact of that has been on the running game, getting you know, both of those guys, those guys going and seeing James take that step? Yeah, I think it's it's fresh legs, keeping them both um, you know healthy. Um, obviously, I think they they do things a little bit differently, um, but again, they've been so steady, not just in the run game, but in the pass game, the protection game. Um, you know. Coach Skip's done a really good job in that room, making sure that they're ready to go each and every week. And again, there's some things that we practice only with James and um, maybe Naheem, and all of a sudden game time, it's like motor's thrown in there and he knows exactly what he's doing and he, and he does it and he executes it. So um, really respect those guys. They work extremely hard. If you watch them after the snap too, or you know, if they're not getting the ball, they're by the ball, they're helping somebody up. And I think that's uh, some good leadership, especially by, by Devin kind of taking the role um, as the vet in that, in that room. And, um, you know, I'm even going to shout out Duke, I think, for him to – the way that he talks uh, to Jimbo and um, the other guys in the room, it's very helpful for them as well. Jack, what do you think uh, the approach this team needs to take to beat the dogs on Sunday? Yeah, again, um, we know it's going to be a dog fight. It's going to be 60 minutes. Um, you know, we got to do our job. we got to execute. we got to trust each other, uh, take care of the football, and, and just try to score points. It's been a while since we've seen Jamison. Can you kind of tell us what he brings to the table to help the offense if he's able to get out there? Yeah, obviously vet guy. He's uh, he's quick. He's smooth. Um, you know, I'm not sure what the plan is and when it's going to happen or if it happens, but uh, love having him back there. I know he's been battling through a lot and he's come a long way in a short period of time um, with that injury, and uh, we're just happy to see him back out there. You know, making some cuts and catches with us, and um, you know, he's just such a good presence. You know, on the field, he's calm, he's collected. I think guys can, can lean on him um, that way too. So happy to have him back. Do you feel like there's a shift kind of in the building now, knowing everything at stake, knowing it's the playoffs? Do you feel kind of a sense of urgency in that, that shift? Um, I mean, I think it's the same approach that we've taken every single week. Um, you know, obviously, we try, to, we try to win every single game that we play in. This is no different. Um, we just know that, you know, it's, it's win or go home. And, um, you know, there might be a little bit more attention to detail, but again, this is the, the standard that we set for ourselves and Coach McDermott sets for ourselves as playoff caliber. Now that we're here, it's championship caliber. So um, 
there's always going to be that just little little up in effort or attention to detail because again like guys don't want to go home you know we're playing for each other we love each other and um you know we got a job to do hey guys Thanks,